Machine simulation allows engineers to virtually build a system and verify control logic to reduce on-site commissioning work and overall project execution time. Through 3D simulator connectivity, we can connect to a PLC and link variables between the simulator and the PLC. By linking the variables, we synchronize the 3D simulation with the PLC. Once the variables are linked, the sensors in the Gemini simulator are fed to the PLC and we can run the machine simulation according to the connected PLC program. Now we can see the variables update as the simulation is running. At the same time, we can open GX Works 3 to monitor the real-time execution of the PLC program. With 3D simulation, engineers can virtually test and commission systems even before a physical construction is ready. Mitsubishi Electric 3D Simulator, Melsoft Gemini. Demonstration. 3D Simulator can easily perform simulations of equipment, devices, and entire lines, including layout and program verification. Now we'd like to use 3D Simulator to demonstrate how to build a line like this from scratch in a short period of time. First, we select the necessary devices and workers from an abundant library and lay them out. Once the layout is complete, it's time to set the controller and range of motion to control each worker's movements. Next, we set the product information and name the work location. Then we set the flow for manufacturing the product. By connecting each piece of equipment and worker in such a way, it is easy to set up a production flow. After setting up the flow, the next thing to do is set the operations of the three pieces of equipment. That's it. Press the play button to start the simulation immediately. Gemini software can easily model processes throughout a factory, allowing optimization of behavior and route planning to minimize the number of bottlenecks that exist in a system. Here we are showing one worker gathering parts from two different stock locations, bringing them together at an assembly location, and then another worker coming in, taking that assembled part for inspection, and then placing it in an output bin based on whether it is a good or reject part.